after you became a Christian, you actually had writer's block, and yes. that was the the cause of you changing your focus. Can you talk yeah, a little bit well, about that? Well, I, I couldn't write for about three years, and I couldn't figure out why, and I think that um, writing had really become an idol in my life. There, were, there was one time when Rick and I went out for a walk, and he said, if you had a choice between me and the children and your writing, you'd take your writing. And it really made me stop and think, because that's kind of the way I felt at the time. And so I knew that my priorities were really off. But I think that three-year period, that's when I started reading the Bible and just seeking the Lord. And I realized that, you know, he, he was basically saying to me, you say you want to be my child, but you don't even know who I am. Wow. And when in writing ceased to matter, and I didn't care if I ever wrote again, we did a minor prophet study and came to the book of Hosea. And then it was like God saying, this is the romance I want you to write. Wow. And that was the last one that I did for the general market. And it was in the same genre and the same time period I'd been working in because it was geared at the people who had been reading my work. All yeah, right. Because on your uh, website, you talk about redeeming love being like a statement of faith. Yes. But I have also read that it came out for the general market. And then yeah. once the rights, re you, you then did some rewrites. So yeah. what do you mean about it being your statement of faith? Well, it really tells a story of God's love. It's an allegory. And... I felt like a child of darkness. We, we all are. I was always looking in every other place for answers except going to the Lord and not understanding how deeply he loves us. So that prophet story really got through to me. And I'd, I'd grown up in the church, so I'd heard the gospel. I believed, but I think there's a, there's a huge difference between Jesus as just your Savior, and then you figure, I can do whatever I want to do. He'll save me, rather than having him as Lord of your life and you're looking to him to guide you in every aspect of your life. And I think that's when the change started happening for me.